Hello there and welcome back to another Thunders Productions tutorial. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up guys and welcome back to another awesome tutorial. This one is on the LCU, Landing Craft Utility. This one was specifically built for the LPD that you see in the background. That is the USS New York and depending on when you see this, hopefully there should be a tutorial for that very, very soon. Alright guys, so what we're building in this tutorial is this landing craft utility. It is a 1627 class and uh, we're going to need a lot of different materials for this little build. And we are going to be needing red wool, black wool, stone bricks, uh, stone brick slabs, stone brick stairs, uh, light gray carpet, uh, gray stained car or <laughs> gray stained clay. Uh, I'm using sponge in my texture pack for uh, the caution uh, stripes around the outside. Uh, you can just use black and yellow around the outside works fine. Cobblestone wall and slabs and stairs of that variant. Uh, anvils, levers, chests, ladders, yellow wool or yellow stained clay. Uh, another brick fence or some other kind of fencing and wooden and trap doors and that will get you through this build. And as you can see it fits my Humvees. It fits two of them and uh, there is a tutorial for that uh, I will try to link in the description, if not a quick search, and you should be able to find it. All right, so that is what we're going to be building. Let me go find some dry land, and uh, we will build this thing. All right, guys, I found a little spot over here on the mainland, and we're going to build it right here. So you're going to be building it underwater. Uh, the first two red layers will be underwater, and then everything else, obviously, will be above. So starting seven wide, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we are going to have some bushes in the way. I got just a little too close to these, thought I had enough room. And then you're going to go out by one, two, three. And then you're going to go out and go back 24. So one, two, three, four, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15, 15, 17, 18. <laughs> 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. And you're going to go back one, two, three. And you're going to make that too wide. And I did forget to grab me some gold. A block of gold we're going to need right in between this here so grab that put that in go back to your red and you're going to go one two three and build that up and then put another piece of gold and then go one two three one two three all right go back to the outside and go back 24 and i'm going to count this again just to make sure i didn't mess up on the other side uh because there was stuff in the way one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three 21 22 23 and 24 and then three one two three and then fill this in solid all right so that's what the first layer should look like all right add one more row across the front just like this and i forgot it on the first layer whoops there we go and then we're just going to go out by one and go across the front and i probably shouldn't have done this over here all right i'm going to go back out back out one two three four five and then come back on the th uh, third block right here one and go back 27 2 3 4, four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one two three four five six twenty seven should overhang by one come back by one and then go back in by one like that go across the other side and you're going to do the exact same thing so two three cover up by one and then go forward 27 Right there, and then back, over, back, over, two, three, four, and five. And this should cover up one, two, and three. All right, back here at the back, we're going to put one more layer across here, and that will tidy up the back. So just fill this in, and that covers up right there. And that is layer number two. All right, next layer, grab your black and go right across the front, just like that. And then we're going to go over here, and we're going to cover up these two. And then we're going to put two more right here. All right, drop back by one and then cover this up all the way back and overhang by one. Just like that. Come in diagonal by one and then do the same thing on the other side. And overhang by one and then come in by one. Grab your cobblestone and I did have it. I swear I did. There we go. And you're going to go across the back with your cobblestone just like this. Switch over to your stairs and put them upside down across the back. Fill in the main deck area between all the black with your dark gray stained clay. All right, so it should look just like that. 322 blocks. And I did switch over texture packs if you guys did not notice. Um, just to make it easier to count things and I'm going to be using the dark gray wool just so you can see everything and count the blocks a lot better than where I was. 
All right, so again, I'm using the sponge texture, or and yeah, sponge texture in my texture pack. You guys can alternate black, yellow, black, yellow around the outside, and facing the back over here on the left hand side. One, two, three, and that's where you're going to start. And you can start right here, going black, yellow, black, yellow, all the way around. And we're just going to trace this around the back, just like this across the front. And this goes all the way to the back and then wraps around and I'm just going to chew this out and fill it in off camera but it's going to fill in here oops across here and I'm just chewing this thing right up ain't I and then back by three so just like that go ahead and fill in that slot I'm going to fix these two little areas and then we'll be right back all right guys switched back on the texture packs because my stone brick is easy to count uh, then on the other texture pack, so we are going to be laying down uh, slabs, cobblestone, right across here, just like that. Seven of them, and then we can just go ahead and set a block right here for right now, so we can start our upside down stairs. And then on the back side, we can just go ahead and, and drop the slab back in, grab your stairs, and they should go just like this across the front. All right, just like that. All right, switch over to your stone bricks and we're gonna go one, two, and three, just like that. Gonna grab the stairs and one's gonna go upside down here and one's gonna go on the inside right here. All right, go to your slabs and this is gonna be the pattern. We're gonna go two, skip one, two, skip one, two, skip one, all the way down the side. And then that should leave you one block left to put this one, uh, a solid piece of stone brick right here. Now on the back side, just go ahead and put a block and put an upside down stair and just alternate and keep doing that and the openings all the way down. And then right here off the front gets another upside down piece right here. Just like that. So that's what your side should look like moving around the back. You're going to put one more piece right here and then put a piece of fence post right in between just like that. Go back to your cobblestone stairs and turn around this way and go across to the other corner and then repeat that here and here and a piece of fence post right there all right over here two more pieces of slab one two and let's go back to the front and going to do the same thing we did over there so grab your stone bricks and we're going to put two here one here and then a stair on the back side and one on the front and two slabs and then an upside down stair piece right here just like that and then everything in between is an upside down stair so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this behind here and get rid of it afterwards it just gives us something to set across makes it a little bit easier and then just grab your stone bricks and then just go across here upside down and then get rid of the set blocks behind it alright so it should look just like that All right, grab your light stained clay or light grain wool, whatever you're gonna use, and go one, two, three, and four. And then I've got a light right in here with a trap door over the top of it. And if I can pick it up right, we're gonna go put it right there. And then go back to your gray and fill this in. And then come out by one on that side and then put a stone brick slab right there. And that's gonna be the stair going up into the cab. All right, let's go this way, go back to your gray. All right, you're going to skip a spot and you're going to put two and then you're going to grab some crafting tables and go one, two, three. And then you're going to go back to your gray and you're going to add two. We've got two pieces of cobblestone wall that go in front of those and a stair that, or a ladder that goes right here on that one. All right, back over here, we've got another light. And in front of that, I've got a piece of cobblestone wall to kind of cover that up a little bit. Back to your gray. And we've got one here and two, one, and then three, and then one. And it should stop right here and we've got two pieces of cobblestone wall that go here at the end and we got a chest that goes in the middle here and a fence post here a trap door that goes right here on the end just like that all right guys back to the front over here on this corner we're going to grab our stone bricks and go one two three and four and then we're gonna have an upside down stair right here I'm gonna, whoops upside down stair facing forward right there stone brick one two three four and then upside down and then we're gonna grab our cobblestone stairs upside down and they're gonna go right in between just like this. And this will build the ramp. And at the end of the tutorial, we will figure out how to lower this thing down. <laughs> I haven't done that yet. <laughs> Anyways, go back to your stone bricks and you're gonna put one here 
and an upside down stair piece in the front and then go back to your stone brick and put one right here on the corner and now you're just going to run stairs all the way down and you should just be able to set them straight down because they won't set on the slabs so this makes this part really really easy just like that and then one more slab right here and that finishes off that run now we'll cover that up with carpet at the end uh, that's all trim work going around the back go ahead and take your fence post and we're going to connect here and right there and do the same thing on the other side just like that and another stone brick here on the corner and then go back to the front and we're going to do the same thing we did on the other side so we've got a stone brick here a stone brick here one going forward just like that and then back to your or <laughs> back to your stairs stay on your stairs and run these all the way down and again this will get covered with uh, light gray carpet at the end so just go ahead and connect it in just like that so everything on top is going to get covered with light gray wool all the way around except for uh, the loading grate right there so all right back to the inside we're going to go back to your gray stained clay or light uh, gray wool whatever you're using and then come in like that cover up that light go across the back and then cover that up just like that and then i've got just a little piece of fence post in here to make it look like some place to steer it all right go back to your gray and we're going to cover up all the gray pieces all right when you get right here guys we're going to go back by one and then cover this up just like that and then come back out to this one here and then finish covering this up one two three and then one so it looks just like that and switch over to your yellow and we've got a couple yellow pieces that go right here and one in the corner and then two pieces here and I guess these are like uh, like life rafts or life preservers or something like that I'm not really sure uh, but that's what I put them on there for put a piece of fence post right there grab some trap doors and put a couple above here just like that and then I've got two buttons right there and I don't have them in my inventory but that's where two more buttons go and then another ladder piece all right, I grab some buttons and go ahead and put one there, finish off the ladder. Now right behind these chests here, we're going to take some iron blocks and we're just going <laughs> to we're going to put them behind the chests and just above it and then we're going to cover those with the trap doors. So it should look just like that. And then I'll grab my other button and I'm going to go ahead and put two there just so you can see it. And that's what that layer should look like. All right, next part guys, start here right on the stairs. One, two, three, four, just like that. And then one, two grab your slabs and put one two and then upside down stairs here in the front and then another slab just like that so that's what the side should look like all right around here to the side we're going to put one piece of slab right here and then an upside down stairs facing forward just like that and then a slab right in front of that all right just up into the inside right here you're going to put an anvil <laughs> an anvil and then on the back side of that we're going to put a lever and then we need a trap door just underneath that same thing over here put a trap door and basically this is the uh the system that raises and lowers uh this this plank area anyways uh go back to your cobblestone slabs and your stairs and we're going to finish off the front of this so go ahead and put in slabs and then upside down stairs and then go back to your stone brick and do the same thing starting here one two three four and then a stair and then a slab I uh, moved my slabs all right so right there and then another two pieces right here and then some slabs and then another slab here and then upside down stair just like that and a slab and then an anvil should go right here and that should be right <laughs> it's a little tricky uh, but block placement you should be able to get that in there just like that all right and that should finish off the front of this thing and let's pick up that and we're going to put that lever right there all right so that finishes off that and now let's go ahead and finish off the middle all right so i've got some glass now and we're just going to run some glass right here we got three pieces one two three one across the front one here and then one on the side go back to your gray and we're going to start covering everything up so basically run this all the way down cover that up go to the inside here and go across this right there go to the inside and then right there and then bring this back up to the front and make everything solid all right so it should look just like that and then finish off with your cobblestone wall pieces 
I've got two pieces here, one piece here, and two pieces there, and then the other fence post piece right here, and then I've got a trap door. <laughs> Let me pick one up. Lots of materials here, lots of switching, guys, uh, here, and then two more pieces on the back side just like that. And that finishes off that little middle piece. Put yourself an iron door there and put yourself an iron door right there. And then we'll go ahead and finish the top. All right, so that's what it should look like. We finish off your ladder right here. And I'm experimenting with some uh, iron doors in my texture pack. So I've got that one right now. And I've got this one right now. Whoops, nope, this one here. So not sure which one I'm going to use yet. I may use both. But anyways, that is our iron door. All right, going above that, we're going to go back to our gray. And I put it up here. And I need to put it back, grab our gray, and start covering up just above the door here. One, two, three, four, five. And then go across the glass by four. And then back, even with the other side. And then take your slabs or, and go right in here. And make sure you stay on the upper hitbox and fill that in. All right, and then I've got a piece of cobblestone wall right here. And then the rest is fence posts. So I got here, and I got one more piece of cobblestone wall down here. Just go ahead and trim this out. And again, it's more just for looks than it is anything. And then fill that in, and then bring this back. And then right here, I've got a piece. Again, it's just for looks. And then bring that forward and connect that right there. All right, back up here, grab your slabs, and we're going to cover that up. One, two, three three four and then we've got a piece of cobblestone wall right here and then we're going to go around this side with our slabs one two three and then back to here cover that up grab your black wool we're going to put two pieces up here this is like a like an observation deck or maybe even for steering from up uh, on the outside i'm not really sure i've never actually been on one of these all right <laughs> anyways but one two pieces right there and then come back here and go one whoops one two three and later on down the road when we get the uh, lpd done uh, you're going to have to stop right here if you're putting it on the inside because if you go one more it will not fit and actually i've got two pieces just like that all right back up to the front i looks like i'm missing two pieces and it looks like they are slabs and they go right here here and here and then i've got a button right there that should be a full block and actually it should be a full block so we need to go back Put two more up and then one, two, three, back to the anvil. So I missed some. Good thing I went back and looked. One, two, three, four, five, and then add two. And then the buttons should go, there we go, right on the ends, just like that. And that is pretty much it. I've got the gray carpet um, that covers up everything around the outside. And that just sets just like this. And again, I'm not going to do the whole thing, but you can see it, it sets on there really nice. Same thing when you get back to the corner, cover that up. And then back over here, cover all this up going up to the front, and it should stop right there. And then on mine, I've got everything up here covered, I believe, that, that will cover. And I'm not sure about here. I'm going to warp out uh, to the other one. Uh, anyway, well, wait a minute. <laughs> Let's figure out how to drop this deck. All right, guys, I think I've got this figured out. Go ahead and rip out all the cobblestone and even these slabs that go across here and move the slabs out by one and then go down uh, stair pattern by three and then you can come across just like that and connect it and you guys might be able to come up with something a little bit better i tried slabs and slabs come like out out to here which is a little too far because um, the cable that runs here that drops this down should be right here at the end of the uh the, the loading ramp so again you guys can figure out how to do that uh, by yourself if you do not like that i think that looks okay it's not too bad all right anyways let's go ahead and uh finish this up guys that is the lcu uh there shouldn't be anything else left trim wise i think i got everything um use the reference pictures in the front where i was kind of flying around to see where to set up for the humvees there's a couple of anvils um, that can go up here in the front again for for tie downs i think one goes in the corner and then i put one here in the back and maybe even one in the middle you can move those around it's really really simple uh, again that is it for the lcu hope you guys really really enjoyed the tutorial uh, if you did click that thumbs up button for me i really really appreciate the support and remember to rate comment subscribe follow me on twitter and i'll catch you guys on the next one later